Okay, Roslyn. So next up is Roslyn, who is the uh, first in line for the presidency. So if you select her, you're going to be president. Um, and this is that's one of of a couple of reasons why I don't recommend her for um, for new players. The presidency, first off, the presidency is is more it's certainly more difficult than the admiralty. Um, you have a whole hand of quorum cards, knowing when when you should uh, play them, when you should be drawing them, how to play if you're a Cylon. You know, like it's it's uh, uh, the president is a powerful position, uh, but it's also easy to get pegged as a Cylon. Uh, you know, it's just it's hard to play both as a human and as a Cylon um, if you're a new newer player. Um, that said, uh, even even more so, her religious vi visions. Um, for uh, allow her to draw two crisis cards on her turn instead of one, then she picks one and then buries, burns the other one at the she, at the bottom of the deck, and so that is an amazing once per turn power. It is so great. Um, now the the downside is if you don't know um, what. Uh, you know, if you, if you don't know a lot of crisis cards, it's kind of hard to tell, like, in a specific situation, uh, you know, what's which crisis card is better because they're, you know, um, they're all bad in different ways. It's just certain ones are better at certain times of the game. So um, it can be uh, kind of detrimental for a newer player to have that um, until you get a little bit of experience under your belt. Um, with that said, she also has a... Uh, her once per, per game is okay... You know, she gets to draw four quorum cards and choose one. It might be great. It might not be. Um, I've never been a big fan of her once per uh, game, um, but her once per turn is awesome. But her her negative is one of the probably the most debilitating negative in the game. So she's got the strongest positive and the and the worst negative. Uh, which basically, if she wants to activate a location, she has to put uh, discard two skill cards, right? And uh, if you are the president, you need to be um, constantly drawing quorum cards, which is uh, activating a location. So, uh, you know, and on a turn, you have to, you know, you'd ha you would, are able to activate the quorum two times, the location two times to draw two quorum cards. And so um, it is uh, like on an, on an XO. Anyway, so you can end up discarding four skill cards in a single turn and, and, just basically trading them for quorum cards, it makes her honestly not a very good president. So one of the smartest things to do as Rosalind is figure out who you can trust and then give them the presidency, which is hard to do as a player because you don't know, it's hard to know who you can trust, but once you, you know, and that's also hard to just give up the power, you know. So, um, you know, Rosalind is just all around uh, the most, uh, the, the most advanced player um, you know, not my favorite player uh, because, um, you know, her, her negative is just so bad. But her positive is pretty sweet. So, anyhow, uh, not my recommendation for a new player, but a lot of fun. Definitely, if you've played a couple of games um, and you're looking to change things up, she's a lot, she is a lot of fun to play. I played her and, and enjoyed it. So, after uh, Rosalind comes a Baltar. 